Greetings YouTube. This is my kitty cat Makana who's probably being very nervous because I'm standing near him here near him talking. He doesn't he doesn't relax well around me. He doesn't like men a whole lot, though he's gotten much more comfortable with me now at age nine than he was when he was at age one. Um he's a big cat. There's no denying it. He currently weighs eighteen pounds, which is significantly less than the twenty-three pounds he weighed at his biggest. And uh, one of the reasons that we've been able to get him to lose weight is because we put him on a special food. Um, it's not cheap, but it's a kibble, and he's the only cat, well, in theory, the only cat that, that eats it, though that cat right there will occasionally snipe his food. Um, he uh, He's lost quite a bit of weight. But one of the problems he has, and the reason he's fat, is he is a stress eater. He has food insecurity problems. He has food anxiety issues because he was raised in a household where there were far too many cats and not enough food. Um, so even though he was only probably there five or six months of his entire life, at age nine, he's still suffering from that. So he would eat his food so rapidly because he was convinced there wasn't going to be any more that uh, he would just throw up. And if we leave food out on a regular basis, so like, you know, it's a present for him to have access to anytime he wants, he'll stress eat, then he'll throw up, then he'll stress eat, then he'll throw up. And this is a recurring cycle. And again, why he weighed 23 pounds. Um, so even though the, the diet food was helping, because of his stress eating strategy um, of eating everything he could find as fast as he could, there was a problem. So I needed to find a solution. And that's what this video is about. This is an Outward Hound fun feeder. Yes, Outward Hound, a play off of the Outward Bound uh, youth program. Um, and so because he was eating his food so quickly, I looked into one of these. And before I went online, I thought I would go to my local pet shop and find one in person and see what kind of models they had. Now, this particular one is pretty big. I mean, it's full size of my hand. Um, so it's about, I don't know, eight, maybe nine inches in diameter, or eight inches in diameter. Um, and it's made out of silicone, so it's, it's all flappy. Um, and the beautiful thing is, is that because it has these irregularly shaped baffles, as you see, they're different heights as well as different widths you spread his food out over this and it means it slows him down it's not perfect but it has significantly cut down the number of times he can eat his food rapidly enough for it to then trigger you know him vomiting up um what he just consumed um, now this company actually makes an entire line of these um with some have like spirals and some are puzzle shaped and things and some are really kind of cool looking. So in the event that uh, we get tired of this one or we want where he finally wears it out, uh, I will in fact go back to them. Now there is a small spot right here. I don't know if, yeah, you can see that, that the tiny bit of fray right there that has shown a little bit of wear. Apparently it's a spot where he chews regularly, um, but the rest of it is in really nice shape. There appears to be some kind of clear coating over the silicone itself. So I'm, not 100% sure why you would need to do that. Silicone it's in and of itself is incredibly durable and, and inert. Um, I don't know how heat resistant this is. They do specify in the back that top rack dishwasher safe. So it is heat resistant. I don't know how heat resistant. It's probably not the same type of silicone um, that they make like oven mitts out of and things like that. I'm very familiar with silicone. I work in manufacturing and we use silicone every darn day. Now, this was designed, as the name will imply, for dogs, outward hound. Um, the small dogs, but my cat weighs 18 pounds, and regularly dogs walk past my building. Um, people are walking them that weigh less, significantly less than my cat. So it's not a problem for my cat to be eating out of a bowl of this size. Uh, because it's uh, um, Silicone, it's really easy to clean. We don't have a dishwasher, so I just do it by hand. You just, you know, run a sponge, and then you rotate it, and you do the other side, rinse it, and you're done. Um, so it's not a big issue to keep this thing clean. Uh, and I only have to I only have to clean it every couple of days because, let's be honest, all I'm doing is putting food into this. Um, so I'm really happy with this product. 
Um, I know it's kind of a weird gear video for me, but this is an important thing because it helps keep my cat healthy. Um, and I would definitely purchase other items from this company um, in the future in the event that uh, this wears out or we get tired of it or what have you. Um, one of the slight disadvantages is over the ceramic um, the ceramic uh, bowls that he had been using, very light. And it is very easy for this thing to get kicked around the room. Literally, I'll find it all over the kitchen. Sometimes because he's pushing it because he's eating from it. Um, so I'm actually considering maybe finding something that I can put this in. Like I was thinking maybe you could find a small cast iron pan um, that might work. That way it would, he could not move it. Um, and the kitten, the little black kitten you saw in the video, uh, has discovered that she can flip it over and then it, it skates even better. Uh, so it's an interactive toy apparently as well as a useful tool uh, to keep your pet from eating too quickly. So again, I design, this is designed for dogs, but I use it for a cat, um, but my cat is 18 pounds. The goal is to get him to below 16. Um, if we could do that, that's a healthy range because he's still a very big cat. He has a big head, he has big shoulders. And if he had remained intact as opposed to being neutered, he'd be even larger. He's a big, big boy. Um, always has been, always will be. Um, so yes, I'm, I'm really happy with this particular um, product and I would recommend it to others, which is why I'm doing this video. Um, and I hope that if you have pets that have a stress eating trait, they eat too quickly, that you will consider something like this, either this size or something larger, depending on the size of the pet that you need to help.